the other churches so that they created like this this pyramid of of ministering to the communities because now we see our bishop here has about 58 churches under his homophodion under his uh, care and he can't be everywhere every week so that's why the priests are are in practice and uh, in this current time now as i mentioned in the early church the the churches used to move they used to they wouldn't be in one place in fear of persecution as you read the gospels and you read the bible about when the disciples and apostles were gathered together they would be in different rooms an upper room a hidden room here a hidden room there why and it says specifically be, because of fear of the jews fear of persecution they wanted to pray they wanted to worship god but they didn't want to be persecuted um, likewise in uh, metropolitan nikitas uh, when he travels to different areas in in India or Indonesia, he goes in, in plain clothes, as they do in Turkey too, as well as the Patriarchate. Most of the Metropolitans who are there wear black suits, white shirts, and a black tie. The only one who is allowed to wear clergy wear, or the collar, or the raso, or whatever, is the Patriarch. Now, one of the reasons for that is to keep the interactions and the, the persecution down to a minimum. That doesn't mean that we sacrifice in the faith of serving the liturgy, but in common interactions and trying to get over borders and, and all these other things, spending a day interrogated by um, a Turkish uh, border guard is not the way you want to spend your day if, if you have to go do other work and if you're trying to minister. That's why the Metropolitans travel kind of incognito and they move from area to area so that they can minister and do their work. And then when they're in the church, they fully vest and they, they celebrate the services outside of the, the scrutinizing eye of, of the non-believers. But one thing that always was brought with the priest, which is given to the priest by the bishop, is on the altar table is this cloth. Now this, this cloth is called the antimens or antimision, which is exactly the same as the of the epitaphio that we have that we put inside the tomb it's the same picture of christ um uh falling asleep and it's it, this one's in black and white however but at the bottom of this when you open it up it's signed by the the bishop and it's a, it's designated to a church now in the early days of the church the bishop as he would ordain a priest would give him his vestments. They would hold up the vestments if you've seen an ordination, which I think you, most of you have. They say axios, they give the vestments, they put all... And then they would give the priest the andimitsion, which is that antimens there, the, the cloth. And it would be given to the priest as his authority to go out, to take that wherever he goes, to open it up on a table, and to use that to do the divine services. Without that cloth, we cannot do the divine service. We can't do um, Holy Communion. We can't do the divine liturgy. We can do baptisms, but we cannot do um, the divine liturgy. So likewise, in the early church as well, if a priest did something wrong, the bishop would remove that from him and when he was reinstated again, because there was a lot of heresies and problems with teachings in the early church, that was kind of the sign that you did belong to the Orthodox Church, to the Church of Christ, if you had your andimision and you were a priest. So wherever we put the altar table, if we were to put it over there, over there, wherever, as long as we have that cloth on the altar table, we can celebrate the divine liturgy. So that is actually what consecrates the altar table to be a table that we can celebrate on instead of just a mere table. Um, likewise, we are so blessed to have these icons from the early days of, of the origins of St. Athanasius Church, which have been in the back of the, the altar waiting for this day. And... Uh, to be used again and, and I, I think we will find a special place to put these so that we can um, venerate them and keep them uh, readily available. Those are a couple of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention today about the, the cover and about the, the andimision and about how wh which way we're facing and all those things so that when people ask you why are we facing this way or why you know why is he doing this or why is that that you have a little bit of a background. If you have any questions about anything anything in the church at all please let me know or about how we have the church set up here. It's pretty similar to the way we normally have it, except for the bishop's throne, which we don't have 
because that room needs to be accessible over there and I don't think the bishop is going to be serving here uh, in the next month or so. So. Um,